The Five Nights at Freddy's movie just came out, and I'm gonna write a song about it in just one day. Hey, what's up, gangy? It's your boy Keenan Salazar from Keenan Salazar Music House, and I saw the FNAF movie twice, brushed up on my lore with this monstrous video. I'll show it here on screen somewhere. And now I'm ready to get to writing a song about it today and only today. This is gonna be my first song creation challenge, and I'm taking you guys along with me on this mundane journey. Let's sit down and come up with some ideas. So, as I said before, I saw the FNAF movie twice in theaters, initially unintentional, but I'm glad I did because I caught a few things the second time around. And the clock is ticking. I decided to sit myself down and film my whole songwriting process. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a clock ticking down next to me, but I promise you, this is not boring. It's like in Peter Jackson's Get Back, where you see Paul McCartney come up with Get Back, like his magic. Anyways, I spun a wheel to figure out what genre of music I was gonna make, just cause I'm on limited time. Admittedly, some of these don't really fit FNAF. Ooh, we got indie rock. All right, let's do an indie rock song about Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie. After we picked indie rock as our style, I thought about some different ideas that we might try to go in, so I decided to tie this song to this new theory that is coming out about the movie's lore. Now, I was looking into some like FNAF theories, and one of the theories is that Garrett, who's Mike's younger brother, is going to be in the next movie as the puppet, because at the very end, there's a voice that says like, come find me. in that same robotic Atari voice that you see in FNAF 2 when you play as the puppet and you give life to the animatronics, the kid, kids who got killed. I think that would be an interesting way to write, sort of Garrett talking to Mike and the animatronics. So that's this perspective that we'll write it from. I thought of a couple of lines to throw in there. One of them is kind of funny. The first line that I want to, I think I want to use is like, show them who you really are. It's of course like talking to Springtrap or William Afton, kind of just saying like, show these kids who William Afton really is. And the other line is, but that's just a theory. Because Matt Pat's in the, in the freaking movie. So it was, you know, it'd be kind of fun to throw it in there. I, whenever I work with my clients and they give me like, reference tracks to sort of get a vibe, get a basis off of. I never take any material from the actual songs. I just kind of get the vibe. I kind of get maybe the instruments that they're using, the tempo, the genre, you know, the general vibes, but never ever do I take like melodies and stuff. Cause that's cringe and that's drawing. Now, to get myself all ready and go do the thing, I, I went and listened to a bunch of indie rock, both stuff I like as well as stuff I've never heard before as inspo. I listened very quickly, like the first 10 seconds of each song, then I skipped around because, again, I don't have a lot of time to write this one. Let's open up Spotify and catch some vibes here. Listen to the Glass Beach. Maybe they're indie rock, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I've been inspoed. All right. It is at this point when I try to figure out the basics of the song, you know, your tempo, that's the speed of the song, and key, that's the set notes that you get to pick from to play. This kind of tempo, this one, two, three, uh, uh, what's a good key? Uh, uh. We'll do A, A, something like that. Now pay close attention to these chords, they're gonna come back in a bit and form our post-chorus. This is where I really started to get into the flow of making the song. When I write songs, I usually play some chords and how many melodies I hear on top, potentially, so you could say that I start with chords first when I write music, and then I try to throw some words on top of that. Normally I come up with a bunch of ideas and cut out stuff and get rid of some stuff I don't like, but I was limited on time. I had to keep some first drafts, which I actually don't think ended up too bad on this one. Show them, show them. Unfortunately, not every idea was a good one. It's been 20 long years, paths crossed. Paths crossed once again. Once again. Nah, I don't like that. Nope. Let's get rid of that one. So because not every idea is good, it always takes a couple more tries to get the one you like best, like throwing spaghetti at the wall. Lucky for me, the second noodle stuck. I think that's a, a nice verse. Now, remember what I said earlier about adding that game theory line? And the other line is, but that's just a theory. Because Matt Pat's in the, in the freaking movie. Well, here it is. I'm giver of life, but that's just a theory. 
But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. But you know, it's just a theory. I'm just here to save those tortured souls. I'm broken and bruised, dead, but I'm still here. So go show all my friends the man in control. By the second hour, I was almost done writing the song. Just had to do the pre chorus and the bridge. I was making good time. The puppet master that's pulling the strings Rest for all our souls in the locks of his springs I've been watching you Come find me, you can find me That's nice. Okay. The song's done. I finished writing the song. Great. All right, so we've got a song. I think I'm happy with it. So let's make it a real song with some production. So we picked a genre earlier and we wrote our song with that in mind as our style. So let's get right into it. So we picked an indie rock kind of thing. While I was off camera here, I set up a little bit of a template. I had this idea for an opening melody right off rip, sort of blends the pre-chorus and the chorus's melodies together and sounds very like 2010s indie rock. A lead melody is always my go-to, and it's always the most important layer in a melodic intro like this. And the foundation of our rhythm, the drum set. I just programmed the parts real quick, drawing the notes in. Luckily, I'm quick at programming drums, or else I might have failed this challenge. You gotta break up the monotony if you want your song to be interesting. Take a look at what I do here. Da, 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 da. And then a little ding. I do that little bugga digga pop to let the listener breathe a little bit. Verse two, I want the drum pattern to be unique. Let's make this part mathy here. I want to put the Torio door here. Torio door is going to go here. You don't, you can't even tell us Toreador. I put grandfather's clock in there. I stopped recording after I got guitars down, but I added some bass guitar and acoustic guitars, and then I took a little break. Finally, we come to the vocals. I took a little break to warm up, but I blasted through all these takes, just powering through. I did like maybe six takes of each passage and ended up blending between most of them. I've been watching you search for the truth. Five hours. It took me just five hours to make this song. Put me on speedrun.com for FNAF fan song any percent, man. Well, let's see how it came out. Remember, you can listen to this song on its own by clicking this card up here at the top right or the link in the description. Now, let's take a look at what I've done. Since I last saw you My brother I miss My flesh and blood This prison, these walls And the sun's curfew Each one of us Running one by one Come and get him now The puppet master That's pulling the strings Rest for all our souls in the locks of his springs I've been watching you search for the truth Searching for answers, come find me instead Searching our youth These are your chances to show them
tortured souls I'm broken and bruised, dead but I'm still here So go show all my friends the man in control Come and get here now, the puppet master that's pulling the strings Rest for all our souls in the locks of his brain Come find me here, come find me Come find me here, come find me Come find me here, come find me All right, guys, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments what you liked or what I could have done better. Let's have a conversation. Well, that's it then. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, make sure to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of my future uploads. And I will see you guys whenever I have time to make another long form video. And who knows when that'll be. All right, I'll see you.